Good morning. I'm coming live from Placentia, California. I'm Buzz Curtis, and uh, Ruthie is not able to join us today. She's on an important errand, so I'm going to share some things with you. All you guys uh, give you an update about some of the things that we're doing amongst the Thai people here in Southern California. So I'd like to read to you uh, some interesting verses that have been a good help to us. These are located in Daniel chapter 2. hope you can hear me all right. Uh, verse 20 through 22, it says, Praise be to the name of the Lord God forever and ever. All wisdom and power are His. He changes times and He changes seasons. He sets up kings and deposes them. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with Him. We are in His light. Though things might seem dark, we have his presence of light with us all the time. I've been encouraged <clears throat> by what God is doing, particularly through a prayer time that we have with other people scattered in the nation. Thursday mornings at 8 a.m., 6 a.m., sorry, uh, 8 a.m. their time in Texas as the host. But uh, these people have a great passion to pray for Thailand. Uh, they would like to see Thailand change for the glory of God. And when they pray... Mm, it's been a real encouragement to see their passions. There are Thai people that join us. There are other pastors and missionaries that join us from time to time. Uh, there's some people reaching out to Thai people and Lao people in Texas, some pastors and missionaries to the Thai community, the Lao community. And like here in Southern California, even there and other pockets here in the States, Thai people are fearful. They're afraid and they're seeking stability, particularly in these days. So... Uh, you can imagine that people are sort of rattled, and maybe their future is not very uh, secure, and so some are responding to the uh, outreaches that have come to them in those places. So, for instance, uh, in our area in Southern California, Temecula, our friends uh, Tony and Emily are reaching out successfully with uh, some of the Thai people in their area. A is a young uh, believer in Christ, and she and her uh, daughter come to their home regularly, and they had a recent Christmas outreach, and close to 20 Thai people came. Maybe half of them are non-believers, and so a lot of them heard the good news for the first time. It was a clear message, so we praise God for that and pray for a follow-up on that. Ruthie and I, we continue to preach and teach to several Thai churches in our Southern California area, and we thank the Lord for these opportunities. Often we meet outside, sometimes we meet undercover, and sometimes uh, there's uh, people who want to follow up in their uh, you know, opportunities with questions that they have. So, And then uh, I'd like you to remember before the Lord in your prayers, uh, over the past three years, in the province of Petibun, North Central Thailand, there's about 6,000 relatively new Christians there. Yes, 6,000. They've all received baptism. And uh, <clears throat> in past, this past December, over 400 received baptism in one location all at once. Even uh, in the midst of a uh, recent COVID, new surge that's taking place in the nation of Thailand at this time. So here we have new believers coming to Christ and fear is going all over the place, but they're still reaching out. People are still coming to the Lord there. We thank the Lord for that. So Ruthie and I are very thankful for your participation in partnering with us as we reach out to Thai people. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. And you guys are being prayed for too. So thank you. May the Lord bless you and encourage you. Jesus reigns.